Welcome to the Beer Spear headquarters in South West London. My name is William Homots, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Cold Competition Week 33, which ran from August the 15th to August the 21st. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Paul Greenwood, who won the fantastic Jaguar V6S. And you can see us surprising him in the video, both on our website and YouTube channel. I'd now like to introduce today's lawyer from Onside Law, Nick Pike, who will be overseeing proceedings today. Uh, my name is Nick Pike from Onside Law, and I will be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. The first judge is Ari Mendonca. Morning, Ari. Uh, my name is Ari Mendonca. I'm an ex-football football player, now referee for more than 12 years. Uh, and I'm allocated to the FA on the SX Indian League in Sparta South Midlands. Thank you. Orange. Uh, the next judge is Matt Cannon. Morning, Morning Matt. Morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee. I referee uh, in the London area. I still play football. I'm a senior uh, county cricketer and I do my first refereeing tomorrow night. Yellow. And the next judge is Gareth Dineen. Morning. Morning, Gareth. Good morning. My name's Gareth Dineen. I'm a senior county referee and I've spent the last 10 years appointing referees throughout the London area. Thank you. I have the green card. The next judge is Hugh Gilroy. Good morning, morning Hugh. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a level four referee, a tutor, and assessor. Thank you. Red card. Thank you. And the final judge is Peter Georgiou. Good morning. Morning, Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Georgia. I'm a senior AFA futsal and futsal referee, um, assessor, tutor, and mentor. Thank you. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, is everybody happy? Everyone had enough time? Yeah, yes, thank you. Okay, Hugh, if you'd like to explain your decision. Yeah, so from where the two players are looking, um, I feel the ball is in the air. They're both going to challenge for it, but I feel the red player is likely to be jumping soon because he's got his arm just on the back of the yellow player. Both looking upwards, so I think it's a decent height away from them. I don't think it's dropping quite yet because they haven't jumped. And I've looked where both their eyes line up distance where I think it will be from them and that's why I've put the mark there. And Matt? Yes, two players in shot, uh, yellow player and red player. Um, looking at the numbering I would say that the nine yellow, the centre forward and the centre half. The centre half looks like he's trying to come over the back of the centre forward um, to challenge for a ball. Um, looking at the eyes, I think the yellow player is looking up and slightly to the left and I've cross-referenced uh, with the red player's eyes um, and I've put the the centre of the ball um, above the yellow player's head and slightly to the left. Uh, Gareth? Right, as my colleagues have just said, two players in shot, red defender, uh, yellow attacker. Uh, I think the red defender has, is pushing and levering the, uh, the yellow player off the ball, so he's got underneath it to a certain extent. Um, angle of the heads, uh, they're a bit deceptive because thanks to the eyes, uh, the, the yellow player is looking much more up, uh, much higher than his head indicates and likewise the red player. So um, I think it's gonna go over the yellow player to the red player, um, and therefore uh, it's just above the yellow player at the moment and to his left. And Ari? Yes, same opinion as, 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 as my colleagues. I believe that um, uh, the player, player in yellow is already, is trying to go in the air. Uh, player in red with the arm on, on his back is trying to prevent him to, to reach his, his, uh, his, his, his jump. Um, crossing the, the reference with the, where the players are uh, looking at, um, that's where I place my, 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 my cross. 
Um, Peter? Yeah, uh, just the two players in, in the shot, the uh, yellow and the red. I uh, concur that the uh, number nine yellow is the, uh, the attacker jumping for the ball. I actually think he's almost on, on his way up and, he, and the player in the red is actually pulling him down. So with that in mind and with the direction of the angle of the heads and the position of the eyes, that's where I put my cross. Judges, please come to a panel decision on the central screen. Where's the average of those crosses then? Another. Up there? Yeah. yeah. What does that look, Peter and Hugh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 start, yeah, start yeah, start yeah start. So above the elbow. A little bit to the left more than. Okay. And whereabouts in respect? Let's do use okay. the, the umbrella. Just, just below the umbrella. Branch. branch as well. Yeah, just below the top of the umbrella. So can someone put a pointer right? Yeah. Can you put, put a pointer right here? Up there? Yeah, just a little above that branch to go up a little. There? Yeah, yeah. perfect, yeah. Okay, let's just click that to the side. That's a bit further over to the left, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is as well. It's really in there. I think yeah, we need to come in. Yeah, it's about there, isn't it? So it's that same height, but there? Yeah, for yeah. Right across. A bit more, probably. There? Yeah. Yes. Maybe a little bit lower as well, actually. I'll just it. tilt the screen. No, right. yeah. Yeah. Up. So a little bit lower as well to there. Happy with that? Yeah. Yep. Starter, yeah. Right. Okay, let's look at the eyes. Yeah. I think the angles of the head are a bit deceptive. I think it's the angle of the eyes. I think he's looking very much more up as, as, as this fellow is as well. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, we all, all seem to agree with the red player's eyes, don't we? That that's in the angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's only yeah, so it's, it's, it's the trajectory it's of the height, the, of the height with the, with the uh, yellow player, really. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're all on that line anyway. Mm. I don't think yeah. it's that close to them yet. I don't think it's much further over from well, where To we the are. right. I think the yellow player's being pushed off the red ball. I think the ball's going over his head. So you will, yeah. So I get, if you look at his eyes, I think he's much steeper. Mm. No, I agree. I think that's still too far over to the left as a it really should be in that black area here. A bit more, yeah. in the, a bit more over there. As a, uh, to yeah. the right, as a, as keep a, going. As keep a going, start. keep going, yeah, over there. A bit more, because there's a black area, it's the next part. Yeah, that's right there, that's a, a little bit further, 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 further over. Yeah. Peter, what about you? Yeah, I think with the, uh, the frowning of the head of, of, on the yellow, that gives us the indication it is closer as we, what, what we've just done, we just pushed, pushed it across. Because he's actually looking. He's looking quite steeply upwards, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. You, mm -hmm. When you go to frown, you just sort of... Yeah, I mean, Hugh, you're furthest yeah. away. What do you think? I, mine's more the height. I think it's uh, I think it's a little bit higher. I don't think it's that close to them yet. I'm happy that it's further across, but I don't think it's dropped it's yet. It's too close yet. There's yeah. a bit of height if you look at the red the... player's eyes. Yeah. So you're happy with looking. that sort of trajectory up? Yeah. yeah the trajectory. Trajectory. We, can't get, we can't really see... I mean, it's just the angle of his eye, really. Yeah. We can't mm -hmm. see yeah. a great deal from it, can we? Yeah. It's in that general direction. It's in this... Direction definitely. Well, the compromise is in this little dark area, it's the top of the dark area. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little bit further up and to the right, only a tad though. So there? No. Not quite as far over. Too, too far over. Yeah. Just up there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Up in the right like that that looks like. Yes. Yeah. That's right in the middle of that black area now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if that works. That works with that it eye. It does, yeah. And the angle of his head. Works with the angle over his head. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I'm happy with that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with this one as well. Yeah, nothing else from any of the other people at all, is there? No. 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 no so we knock those, on, knock those out of the way. That's it. Happy with that, gentlemen? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Everyone happy then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, judges. And the coordinates selected are 841669. That's 841669. Uh, these coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. Uh, that concludes the judging process. Thank you. <laughs>